Good morning, Mick Flanagan in the Philippines. Here with Jane. This is a Calamon seed. We just repotted it. It was in a small pot, this one next to it. And these can grow fairly big. They can grow into a bigger bush. So we're giving it more space. We filled the pot with some soil and some kitchen scraps. We always use those. And I just want to show you the soil and compare it. This rich soil here has had kitchen scraps in for three months. If you pick it up, it's beautiful. You can feel the nutrients ingrained in that soil. It's soft, rich, black. Compare it with what we took out the ground, which isn't bad soil as a rule. Oh, you've planted some <laughs> rambutan in here. This is rambutan. This is the soil out the ground. You can see the difference in the color. That's a big difference. And there's no trace of the banana skins, the bits of food, pineapple scraping, mangoes. Any waste from the kitchen has gone in. But the seeds is left. The seeds is left still. It's not rotten. They didn't rot. But what a difference. There is a few leaves. Yeah, those are a few of the leaves left. Yeah, but still, still didn't break down properly. But still good at the one. Yeah, still will provide nutrients. But what a difference. That's the difference. To see soil like that just keeps you going, you know you're doing something right. And the same will happen in this calamon see. It's mixed now with plenty rotten. You will get plenty of these now. So that's just a tip to keep your soil healthy, feed it with nutrients from your kitchen waste. This is the worker here, the gardener. What do you think? We're getting something right with our soil? Yeah, of course. It is good. I think our plants is quite happy with it because you can see they keep flowering and they keep fruiting. Yeah. This one even it's in a little pot like that. Look at all the, the fruit. You can see all the fruits, or oh, even it struggle in these little pots. When I take out earlier, the soil is full of roots. The I suppose if it's in a little pot, so long as it's getting nutrients and the roots are happy with what it's absorbing. Yeah, but it's they will. It will be like getting like ten if it's all. Uh, roots in yeah we need to move it so that's why we decided to replant it in this little uh, bigger than the one that it had before yeah so one last look at the soil what a difference and it's moist and springy beautiful soil Okay everybody, thank you for watching, bye from the gardener, bye from me.